In this video, we're going to dive into Excel and talk about a powerful function that can save you time when working with data, the subtotal function. So, what exactly is the subtotal function and how is it different from the sum function? The subtotal function in Excel allows you to perform calculations on a range of data while ignoring any hidden or filtered data. Let's jump right in with a demonstration of the two functions in our sample data. Here's a list of sales results for a fictional fast food company with different store locations in different countries. Since I have a fair bit of data, I'm going to display both the sum and subtotal results here at the top of the worksheet so I don't have to keep scrolling to the bottom of the data to see the results. First, let's calculate the sum. In cell F2, I'll enter the following formula. Equals sum followed by an opening bracket. Then I'll highlight the range of sales values in column D. And to finish off the formula, I'll click Enter. We can see that the total sum of the sales is $3,386,524. Now, let's do the subtotal field in cell F3. I'll begin with equals, followed by subtotal, and then an opening bracket. Immediately we see the syntax of the formula below and a drop-down list of different subtotal options. For summing of values, we will use the number 9. Next, I'll add a comma. Now, I will select the range of data that we want to calculate the subtotal for and then click Enter. We now have the same total using the sum and subtotal functions. Now, here's how they differ. Let's say I only want to see the sales for the United States locations. I'll filter by the United States in my country column header. Look at that. The sum value has not changed, but the subtotal has been updated to only show the sales results of $814,748 for the United States. So, when should you use each function? Use the sum function when you want the total of all the data, visible and hidden, in a range. Use the subtotal function when you want to calculate totals or perform other operations on visible rows only, often when working with filtered data or subtotals within a larger dataset. The subtotal function can be a real-time saver, especially when you're dealing with extensive datasets or complex filtering. It helps you focus your calculations on the data you need, without worrying about any hidden rows affecting your results. As a best practice, I would always include both the sum and subtotal values on my worksheets because it serves as a reminder that there may be filtered results. Additionally, you could then do percentage calculations of the subtotal value versus the sum value. And that's a wrap on our guide to using the subtotal function in Excel. Remember, it's a versatile tool that can make your data analysis more efficient. If you have any questions or want to see more Excel tutorials, drop a comment below.